In with more on these hostage negotiations, Phil Andrew. Now, Phil, his area of expertise is in hostage negotiation, his years at the FBI. And um, what would you say about this deal, supposedly very close? It's been worked on for some time, and I'm sure for someone in your line of work, maybe that's not as much of a surprise as it is to other people saying, boy, when are we going to get this thing uh, finalized? Um, it seems like they might finally have done that. What do you make of it? Well, for the families, this has been an eternity waiting for some, some positive news, and it looks like this might come together. When, when we get to kind of this point of actual exchange, it's one of the most critical times because all of the work that's gone into building some trust and verifying that people are actually able to fulfill on, on the obligation that they're, they're committing themselves to then it's really in the details there and those small movements that we're going to see hopefully in the next few hours or perhaps the next few days where that is carefully done because anything that goes wrong in that could not only endanger the hostages, but could endanger this agreement and then future agreements. As so, a negotiator, are there safeguards that you put in place to protect yourself from exactly that scenario? And what might that look like? What, what, what should we be looking for if this is announced in the early hours of the agreement? Yeah, I think we're going to see an announcement after this takes place because of the, the, the pressure on this, the scrutiny yep. on this. I think that, that talking this through with the globe to build additional per pressure, to build expectation on all the parties, that's, that's an important element here, but I, I don't think we're going to see an announcement before they're released. And secondly, I think that the focus right now is on those actual details. Mm -hmm. Who is going to move where, when, how is it going to be done? What, what, what's the counter movement? And they're really being very expressive and transparent and concise about that communication because we're at this critical stage. So the most likely scenario for us, you're saying, is that we would have the Israelis come out and say, we just received a number of hostages, rather than to say, we have an agreement. And they'll you know, maybe show us that it's already happening. It could have already happened. Maybe it's happening right now. And they're trying to protect that. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about was the phases of the deal that have been reported on. And you know, General was talking a little bit about this as well, that you get 50 or 60 or 70 or 80 in phase one and then moving on to phase two. So why do you think it was structured that way and what does it tell you about what you know, the sides are trying to accomplish? Well, one, I think this is a demonstration of the ability to fulfill mm -hmm. on an agreement. Two, to have, to have the trust. If, if, if this is successful, it's actually maybe the single most important moment in this conflict because we have the parties working together to fulfill something that they've both agreed to, which hasn't happened in a long time. And these are folks that are actively in combat with each other. So that, that's really unusual. And it actually creates a, a potential opportunity for more dialogue about how we, we might be able to uh, address this broader conflict. But it's just a tiny piece right now, and it's very delicate. Now you don't know exactly what was happening in these rooms or on these calls or in, in this communication between these two sides, but you do have a lot of experience in hostage negotiations, generally speaking. So are you able to take us inside what the conversations might have been like leading up to this and why it was taking so long? You know, the pushback, what do you think it was on, the length of the pause? I mean, what types of negotiations or conversations do you think were the, the most important in leading us to this moment? They tend to be very focused on listening, on trying to understand, on making sure that we're very precise and concise in our language so that when I say something, the person that's hearing it, I know that we have the same understanding of what's been said and vice versa. So two, that it takes a long time just to build a credible, verifiable communication link. This is like phone trade. One person calls someone, then another person calls someone, and getting that to be accurate, verifiable, takes time. And just building some trust that I'm the right person, you're the right person to be talking to, that you can actually fulfill on this is incredibly important. It just takes time, particularly in a crisis environment where there's active hostilities and, and, and parties that really don't want to be in relationship but have come to the table through intermediaries here. 
intermediaries, including, you know, third parties sometimes can be important. The nation of Qatar uh, supposedly has been important in all of this. If we do see an announcement of a release and say, for argument's sake, it's 50 hostages, we don't know what the exact number will be, will that make you more confident that all, you know, 240 hostages or however many are still alive in Gaza will one day be released? Well, you know, for these families who are, who are absolutely going through anguish, any hostages released is, is really positive. But I think this is going to continue to be protracted, just like this, this crisis, you know, event and, and, and scenario is. But, um, but, but a release is going to be a very, very positive step and show that we can do it and that being at the table, listening, understanding, working out these hard details uh, can make a difference, but I think it's going to be protracted. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.